All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. I'm my boy Christopher the Con. Party on! And we are Break Room Blitz, baby. So today we are doing our giveaway episode. Oh, giving away this beautiful, Ooh, beautiful sad. gin Urso from Rogue One, baby. This is what we're giving away. I am Groot. Smugglers exclusive. So has a little bit more value than a regular one, but we want to give back to all our subscribers or anyone who's just watching us. So what you're gonna do at the end of the video, because you're gonna watch the whole thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> at the end, you're gonna comment what is your favorite Star Wars in order. So this is what this video is about. So let's go. You, anyone want to start? I'll start. All right. I'll start. Favorite so, Star Wars. Here so we go. I thought about this a lot, and favorite Star Wars. Did number you? one. Number one. We'll start from uh, best to worst. Number one. Okay. Okay. So I gotta say, The Force Awakens really got me back into like loving Star Wars for the comedic value, and just like really loving it. Uh, second is Episode Three. Uh, love it. Love it. Third is Empire Strikes Back. Just love that. All right. I'm your father. Following, I would say Oof. Hope. And then I'll go Jedi Returns, and then uh, Clone Wars, and uh, yeah, uh, Phantom Menace. All right, all right. Yeah. I can go with that. Um, I'm not, so I'm going to start with three. Three is my all-time favorite. I love motions. I love the connection with the whole trilogy, how we got our Darth Vader. Then I'm going to say Force Awakens. I will say Force Awakens. I'm going to say part five, then part four, part two, and then part one. Um, I just, part one just sucks to me <laughs> so bad. I don't need to see, I don't need to see <laughs> baby Jesus Darth Vader. <laughs> um, did you I miss one? Did I miss? What about pod racing? Yeah, so that's that's how I felt. Cause, but I, I was introduced to the... Part four, five, and six. Before I watched any of the other ones, I was a little, I was a late comer. I didn't watch any Star Wars until probably three or four months before Part Three came out. So I just was, I refused. I, was like, I just don't want to watch that. I don't even care. It's old, nineteen seventy. You guys have that. But when I actually sat down to watch it, I actually did appreciate it. Yeah. And then we went to go see. I stood in line for three hours wow. <laughs> before they had reserved seats. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Sit in line for three hours, and that's that was my shift. We were in line. It was like four of us. We all had different shifts. We were all, you know, taking we're taking off work early. And he would go, and he would come back, and then I would go. So, uh, but I sat in line three hours for part three, and just loved it. So that's mine. My top. Uh, the first one I'm going to go for is Empire Strikes Back. I like Empire just because it's a very developed. It's it's huge in development. It's the core. It's the middle ground of the established universe. And this is where Luke starts to become a Jedi. This is where Luke, uh, you know, Yoda, Yoda and, <laughs> like stealing my lunch. You don't take my lunch. Um, <laughs> um, and then um, I'm gonna go uh, Return of the Jedi. Uh, I'm kind of like going like it's it's just like middle last, then back to New Hope. Um, and then I really want to choose, you know, Force Awakens as my number one, just because I love it the most and I love Rey. Oh my gosh! So yeah, we're um, two. So or? sorry, yeah. So we're going, we're going. Um, what's it called? Empire. We're going. Uh, Return of the Jedi. New Hope. Force Awakens. Um, and then, do I have to talk about the first three? Um, <laughs> you gotta categorize. Yeah. Um, I wasn't too like that. Like three, two, two one. Recording. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Let's go. I'll go. I'll go. Attack of the Clones. Revenge of the Sith. And then Phantom Menace. Yeah, I'll just I'll just toss those out there because. It doesn't matter what Ray, order I put Ray them in. Synth is all the way down there, second to last. We got down with Mall Merry Christmas. Cool, is a badass, but you know what? You gave me a taste of something awesome and didn't carry it on through the rest of the movies. So you get double negative points on that just because of that. Yeah, I'm mad, mad. <laughs> you know what's sad too? If it had to come down to the TV shows and to put Rebels and Clone Wars, it'd be above all of that too. <laughs> now I love me some Clone Wars. Yeah, I like the animated series and the cartoon version. That's my. That cartoon version is pretty sick. sick. They, yeah. yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just saying, just to count the whole shebang in there. I didn't think about that. <laughs> that's you're uh, welcome. You're welcome. That's, that's a wild, wild card. Wild card. Yeah, if you that's had, a wild card. You know what? That, if, if you had to throw it in there, where, where would you slide? Where would it be? It's so not fair because they get so many episodes. <laughs> and to me, when you have longevity, it puts you yeah. over something that's you know short lived. 
So, honestly, that's going <laughs> right up at the top three, like, for sure. But then you have to, like, move, like, how can you have those Clone Wars ones and not move up the actual Clone Wars movie? Ah, uh, hey. <laughs> that's what they've, they've, they've presented it in a different fashion, so it's different. That's true. That's true. I'll go with that. Yeah, if I had to actually recategorize that, I would definitely move the cartoon ones kind of, like, in the top, you know, probably in that fourth place, like, right in the middle. Yeah. I can ask you guys a question. Yes. For you guys didn't think the ending of part six was a little goofy. Now you probably liked it because that's how you are. Uh, when they have the, <laughs> the, the, Ewoks. the Ewoks, the Ewoks, the Ewoks, and they're trying to escape, and uh, Solo and, and Leia is at the door, and they're like, "Well, you open it. I can't open it." Like you didn't think that's a little goofy. I thought they really killed it for me. For that's why that one is not up there. It, it was definitely a little goofy for sure. I mean, Dude. they got little teddy bears helping them out, throwing rocks and like spears and. <laughs> And like doing like it, it was like a Home Alone like kind of in the jungle. <laughs> it was a different like a different movie from right. in the beginning of it. In the beginning it was awesome. Yeah. Well, it shows up and all black and just yeah. a little um, you know Wookie insider Wookie Wookie insider um, that was actually supposed to be on Kashyyyk and they were all supposed to be Wookies, but I forgot the catalyst to why they didn't end up making it. I think it was like. They couldn't find enough people to be like the tall Wookiees, or they couldn't find enough material to make enough Wookiee costumes again. There was some weird catalyst for it too. Oh, so, they, so they're like, "Oh, let's just make Ewoks." <laughs> and so, <laughs> so that's why that ended wow. up like that. But it was supposed to be Kashyyyk. That, that makes awesome. sense. News is like, like, <laughs> always. Been, I've never heard that before. Right? Yeah, it's like they, they run out of studio money. We don't have enough materials. Oh, yeah. right, make little suits. Make little ones. <laughs> right. Get wow. Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis. Willow. Willow off. Good. Get in here. Yes. So yes. just to. Try to wrap this up. What was some of your favorite parts of your favorite one? Go so it, uh, some of my favorite parts of my favorite one have got to be, you know, obviously, like, Luke, I am your father kind of thing going down. That was an epic moment. No one knew about it. Mm -hmm. Even the actual actors didn't know what was about to happen. Right. So that was an epic one. Uh, you know, I, I go with one, probably one of the most trendiest moments just because, like, the underdog Luke, good pilot, you know, in this crazy war you know freaking goes down on that one little beacon like you know he's aiming doing it by the book this is the way it tells me how to do it and then freaking obi-wan use the false and then he's like that's uh, come from here buddy come from here you got it Badoom! yeah i still feel that every time yeah i just wish <laughs> Stay like i could yeah like i hope they come up with like a legit like freaking pilot jet game later on where you're like literally going through it uh so mine is part three that's my top and i love when darth vader or anakin turns into darth vader when he's turning he chokes his woman out you know you turned on me he's you know talking to obi-wan and obi-wan is like i loved you you were, you were my brother yeah. <laughs> and i was like dude that was some yeah. deep like what is wrong with you guy yeah like how can i turn on you you we, i saw you as my brother not my right. friend not my colleague yeah, like, my brother yeah. you know and that just like really got me and, and that's i do like the actual you know lightsaber battle oh, but yeah. Oh, yeah. that scene right there alone does it for me for the whole movie yeah, he only sold reason, it. the only thing. reason why i get irritated with the ending of that is because this whole time when I watched the original three, I thought Vader was like this just genuine like B.A. And then in this episode, I just come to find he's a selfish little prick. And that's what irritates me is like the thing is the reason he, he turned because he wanted to become the most powerful and, and do this and do that. Merry Christmas. Yeah. But you need to understand, you know, you had an obligation, you know, to, to, to do right by people, not by yourself. And so it turned... But in his eyes, he was doing the right thing. For himself, not for the larger picture. He be he literally larger was a Larger picture, too, for the Empire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how he saw it. In yeah. in my eyes, you guys the Jedi are evil. evil yeah. Yeah. And not me. And in some well, cases, I can see how they, they both have yeah. their issues. Right, yeah. Um, but I just love to see how he was unstable. Mm -hmm. And they showed that through the... All or both movies, he yeah. was always on could never control his emotions. Mm -hmm. And when he realized that his woman is gonna die, the only thing that he's ever been able to hold on to that's still alive, besides you know, his mom died and everything. So, I want to be able to learn that power to be able to bring people back to life. So, that's that's for me, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. What, I, I get, why I, I liked it. it. Um, so you guys let us know what is your favorite comment, just you go ahead and just you can write them out one through seven. 
Um, and let us know, and we will definitely pick the the winner. We will do it randomly. Um, we'll let you guys know how we can, you know, ship this to you guys. But we want to give this out to you guys. So you gotta like, or you gotta comment, yeah. and let us know. And if you guys comment and you don't put it, we won't be able to, you know, qualify you. So put, put your favorite one through seven, whichever it is, and we will discuss it. All right, guys, we're Break Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. Avan Karch. And we're out, baby. Peace. Peace. All right, redo it. <laughs> he made a fight. <laughs> I for some reason went like, I went like this, and I was like, I went like this. I was like, what the fuck was that?